Hi, everybody. Arthur with Dasha AI here. And today I'm going to give you a introduction to Dasha, your very own video quick start guide. So this video is for you if you have never built anything with Dasha, you haven't registered your API key, you have never launched a call with Dasha from your Visual Studio code, and you want to try all of that. So why would you want to try all of that? Well, Dasha is a conversational AI as a service platform for developers, and you can build truly human-like, complex, conversational AI applications that can talk to your users via web real-time chat or via a voice over IP SIP trunk connection. So you could use Dasha apps for conversational interfaces, or you could use them for, um, you know, automated phone calls, call center automation, if you will. Uh, that's what our users already use Dasha for. Now, the cool thing is Dasha lets you use this whole variety of artificial intelligence, machine learning technologies, but you do not have to be a data scientist. You don't have to know a single thing about uh, AI, convoluted neural networks, etc. cetera. Uh, all that you need to know is some very basic JavaScript, and even then, we've got some users who uh, had never done any programming prior to using Dasha, and they're making uh, making Dasha apps. So, albeit with some help. So, um, today, what we're going to go over is how to set up, how to install uh, Dasha Studio extension, how to get your API key, how to clone an app, and launch a first test call, first test conversation. So let's get right into it. Uh, you would want to go to the Dasha documentation and it opens up to the quick start guide. That's what we're looking at right now. I will have a link to this in the descriptions to the video. So the first thing you need to do is to activate your API key. And to do that, you will, have to ha you will need to have the latest Node.js and NPM. Uh, Node Package Manager installed. Uh, so that's the first step. You would go to nodejs.org. I'll have a link to that as well. And you would, um, you know, install whatever is the latest stable build for your operating system that you're running. The second place you want to go is if you have Visual Studio Code already installed, great. I do, as you can tell. If not, you'd want to go to Visual Studio Code code.visualstudio.com and download the latest stable build for your operating system. So finally, uh, in Visual Studio Code, you want to open the terminal. If you don't have it opened, you go to Terminal, New Terminal, and uh, you would want to run this command, npm i. So npm i means npm installed, node package manager install. Uh, and we ins we're installing the latest Dasha command line interface. You need the command line interface to, uh, to issue commands to Dasha from your terminal. And this is precisely what we're going to use to activate your Dasha API key. And to do activate it, we will hit the command Dasha account login once the command line interface is successfully installed. So we will just give it a second now. And there it is. All right, so Dasha account login. A browser window is going to pop up. There it is. I've already logged in, but if you haven't and you don't have a Dasha API key or account, you would want to click this little sign up button and sign up. So you'd enter your email, your password, and move on in this process. Once you're done, you can go back uh, to, you will get a, uh, you, 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 you'll basically get a successfully signed up message and you'd go back to the terminal. Uh, I'm going to control C here to end this particular command. And the next command you would want to run is Dasha account info. So that's going to tell you what server you're connected to and what your API key is. I'm just gonna switch my 
terminal so that you don't steal my API key and do all manner of shenanigans with it. Um, so once we've uh, got the confirmation that the Dasha API key is activated, we move to the next step in the quick start guide, which is installing the Dasha Visual Studio Code extension. Why do you need the Dasha extension? Well, first of all, you can install it from uh, the terminal here with this command, or you can go to the extension store and search for Dasha. We'll come up with a few result, uh, results and you will want to get the Dasha Studio, not the Studio Beta. So you need the Studio for one reason, and that is, uh, well, actually for a couple of reasons, but the main reason is that Dasha uh, conversations are built using a language called Dasha Script, which is a language that we have built and it is derived from TypeScript and it is a domain specific language which you use to create human like conversational pathways, conversational applications. So the Dasha Studio extension is going to give you all the syntax highlighting, et cetera. So, all of the really nice things that are going to make your experience using Dasha very smooth and, and all around pleasant. So, the Studio extension is already installed. Um, so we go to the next step. The next step is we want to clone a Dasha application and run a test chat and then a test call. So in the quick start guide, it's telling us to clone the blank slate app. We're not going to do that. I want to show you something a little more fun. So let's go to the Dasha samples GitHub. Uh, I'll put a link for this down in the descriptions as well. And what we um, what what do we, what do we want to try? Let's try the insurance customer service demo. Okay, uh, so here it is. Um, let me see here. This is this is what we're going to do. I'm just gonna select and copy the name here and um, get clone and this link here. Okay, so we cloned the application. Now let's go to this folder, CD insurance customer service demo, we're in. So now we want to open this folder up to be able to look at it in Visual Studio Code. If you haven't done this yet, you would want to go to View, Command Palette, 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 I don't know how that's pronounced, and uh, Install Code Command in Path. Perfect, so see it's installed successfully. Now we can do this code, dash A, space, period, enter. There we go. We opened the application up in Visual Studio Code, the application folder up in Visual Studio Code. Um, so very, very quickly, um, I'm going to, well, actually in the next video, I will go over the application, Dasha application contents in a lot more detail, but right now let's go ahead and launch a conversation. So you can do this one of two ways. You can launch a chat conversation in your terminal as per the quick start guide, or you can launch an actual voice conversation to get a call to your phone number. So we could launch a chat conversation, but that's not a whole lot of fun. We'll want to launch a voice conversation to talk to Dasha using voice. But first we need to install this application. If you look in the quick start guide, see we need to run npm install, So let's do that. This will install the application locally. Let's watch what happens here in the terminal. We're just going to have to wait for, I don't know, maybe 15, 16 seconds for this to run its course. Okay, there we go. So note that we got a critical severity vulnerability. 
If you have used NPM node package manager before, then you just ignore these things. If you haven't, you might get scared because sometimes NPM will return multiple such vulnerabilities. So let's run NPM audit fix. But uh, the thing is, this is basically like a feature, feature of node package manager. So it's not anything to be scared of if you see something like that happen. So we will run npm start and phone number in international format preceded by the country code to get a voice phone call from Dasha. Now what's going to happen now is the contents of the app folder are uploaded to the Dasha cloud including a variety of uh, so basically, you know, what's happening here is we're training the neural networks uh, to understand the intents. And I will go into all of this in a lot more detail in a later video. For now, let's talk to Dasha. Hello. Thank you for calling Acme Insurance Claims Helpline. My name is Dasha. I will be your artificially intelligent agent today. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, hi. Yeah, my name is Jon Snow. Pleased to meet you, John Snow. How can I help you today? I'd like to check some uh, details about my insurance policy. Can you please share the policy number you'd like to check? Sure. The number is 77117. Thank you. Let's make sure I got the number correctly. 77117. Is this right? Yes. Okay, let me see here. It looks like this is a valid policy number, and there is currently one active claim associated with this policy number. Is there anything else I can help you with today? <coughs> Sorry, what's the status of the claim? Could you say it one more time? Uh, what's the claim status? It looks like the claim has been approved. You can redeem it if you like. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Uh, yeah, let's redeem it. Absolutely. It looks like there is a bank account tied to your account with us. With your signed off, we will refund the claim value to your account. Would you like me to initiate this process? Yes, please. Great. Refund process initiated. You should receive your money in three to five days. Anything else I can help you with? No. I'm glad I could be of help. How would you rate our interaction on the scale of zero to ten? I would say nine. Thank you for such a high rating and thank you for your time. Please call back if you have any more questions. Bye. Bye. Okay, so that's that's the conversation. Pretty, pretty simple, straightforward application. Uh, there is actually in the YouTube video, and I will link to this video, a tutorial that goes step by step on how I built that application that we just talked to. But for now, uh, you know, my job is done. You have installed Dasha Studio, installed Dasha command line interface, and successfully launched a conversation with Dasha. Uh, in the next video, we will go over all of the files that comprise a Dasha application and, um, you know, learn how to use them. All right. Thanks, everybody, and keep coming back. Bye.